mom and her done this too. She finds a spot where we're going to put our tent or whatever, and she starts sweeping the dirt. And after a while, you know, I go down to get water, I come back up. All these people are standing around our campsite. Did you see that lady sweeping the dirt? Okay, now you got like 10, 15 people watching. I can't convince these people my mother is sane. That point's gone. So I have to convince them that we're just as crazy as she is. Say, hey, Mom, I got some water. You want me to go polish a tree? <laughs> That guy over there. And welcome to the Diaries, episode 101, starting off our next 100 episodes with 101. Why <laughs> did I make it to 100 episodes? I totally intend to, but uh, it took, what, four years to do the first 100, so I'll be close to 70 if we do the same thing with the next 100, so we'll try to move them along a little quicker. We have a new format, somewhat. And um, we're going to be, I, I say we like there's more than just me involved. I'm going to be making uh, some adjustments, fine tune it, and make some changes as time goes on. But uh, <clears throat> for the most part, um, the, we're going to run things <laughs> kind of like they did, but, you know, that kind of thing. This episode, we have a road trip um, and a train ride. Matter of fact, the road trip and the train ride are kind of the same thing. Getting ready for Halloween. Um, and uh, there was something else, and I can't remember what it was. So I guess we'll find out as we go along. Hear a little beep in the background? That's my microwavable telling me, Hey, dude, the chicken in here is thawed out. Time for you to cook it into a massively wonderful meal. Which is what I'm about to do. So, um... That's kind of what's on the agenda for today. So, without any further ado, let's get going! Okay, so, part of our new format is when I get packages in, um, for the most part, I'm going to share them with you when I get them. Now, very rarely do I get a mystery package. So I know what's in these, but I have never used them before, or I've never seen them before, or I've never experienced them before, because I have seen things like these before. So it's still kind of exciting. It's exciting for me. I love getting packages. I just don't like paying for them. So in package number one we have... Haha! -ha! Get popping! Woohoo! Bet you my microphone and my camera love that. Alright. <clears throat> These are those lights that look like flames. Now, out on the Adventureland porch, as you know if you followed the original series, you know that I have flaming uh, torch looking like thingies. Whoa. But they have to be plugged in. And uh, they have a tendency to be kind of funkulous, i.e. not always working properly. So I got these. Now these are battery powered. They run off of a, um, or they can be charged off of a USB port. He said not being able to pry open the USB port. Well, you just have to take my word for it. Open you. There we go. See, right there. And these do the same thing. Now these are a little wider than I was expecting because I was thinking of putting one up in on my wall sconce, but it's a little wider, so it might not work the way I'd like it to. There's two in this kit. And there are two remotes in this kit. And there are two cables in this kit. So this kit had two of everything. 
how exciting is that? Now let's see if either of these have a charge on them. Might be difficult to see because of the bright light that I have on right now, but let's see. No, it looks like neither one has a charge on it. So I am going to put a charge on these and see how they work out. How long do they have to be charged for? Six months! Charge for six months will work for 80 minutes. Awesome. I made that up. Fully charged before use. Okay, so I am going to charge these today while I am out doing other things. Some of the other things I'm doing today is I have to go to work. But that's okay because I'm working as a mechanic today. And uh, I'm okay with it. Now, in the bag. This should be for the band. And it is. It is two Sony MDR ZX110 headphones. Our headphones are crappy. And what's more, the one headphone that is good and sounds the best is falling apart! This is a strap. So, um, let's take a look at one of these. Now I got these because they were relatively inexpensive. I mean, I saw some, <laughs> I actually went online and saw one that was, um, they were a buck fifty-nine a pop and they were full of headphones, but they were for like schools and things like that. So I imagine that they did not have much in the way of sound quality. And these are, like I said, these are for the band. So we don't have a Bluetooth uh, adapter for it because this is coming out of the main mixing board. Oh, uh, you know what I like? I like a box inside of a box because it makes you feel like you've made no progress whatsoever. Think there's a box in this box? Nope. Whoa. What's that? Oh, it's a tab. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look. Shielded cable, that's a bonus. These are also the kind that fold up nice and flat. comfortable but do they sound good well I can't show you that I'll have to find out for myself I'll tell you what I'm gonna find out right now and then I will come back and tell you okay I tried them out they sound amazing far better than anything else we have and I got two of them, and I think I'm going to get two more. So we'll have one for each member of the band, and then I got to get a four-way splitter. I have a two-way splitter right now for whenever. Well, we don't, you know, <laughs> for rehearsal it'll come in handy, but for for uh, studio work we only have generally two or three people in here at a time anyway. So uh, this was a good opening of a uh, box. And uh, I have something else coming at the end of the month, uh, end of, and you go back side of the tree where you have the under. End of the week. Um, but I am, yeah, I may put it on this episode. Well, if I did, it'll be in this section. So if you see it happen during this section, then you'll know I did. If it doesn't happen during this section, then I didn't. How do you like them there, bananas? Um, I just got another box, I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I knew it was coming, but it wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow. But it showed up today, and I started to open it, and I thought, Hold the tree! I should open it on the shelf. I know what this is, but I do not know what it looks like. Well, I know what it looks like from the photo, but 
hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the box will open. That would be cool. Hopefully I didn't turn it upside down. Oh, I did. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Hopefully I didn't cut through it. Oh. Check it out. Hang on. Here's the flat poppy paper. No, okay. Okay. Hey, yes! They used a large box. I'll tell you that. Oh. oh. Well, I'm going to show you this. It won't tell you what it's in here, but it'll tell you where it came from. Bag of candy. That means it came from Sweetwater, musical instrument. Theoretically, the last one I get for the band for the foreseeable future. Here it is, inside of a little box, inside of a big box. Now, obviously, it's it's shaped like a guitar, but it's not a guitar. It's I'll tell you, it's not a ukulele. I'll tell you that it's not a violin. It's not a bassoon, it's not a cello, you know it's not a dulcimer because I already have one of those. If you watch episode way back you would have known. I'm going to duck down. Okay, I'm going to dance the video and you ready? Here it is. It is a mandolin. It is an amazingly out of tune mandolin. It has got flat back instead of the bowl. Yeah, it's way out of tune. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's check it out real quick. Bridge is a bit high. That can be lowered. The nut is nice and low. That's good. Nice machine heads. No damage. And it is an Ibanez. Yay! Okay. Well, I'm going to tune this and check it out. And um, later on, either in this video, in this thingy, or the next one, you'll get to hear it a little bit. Here, you can hear it a little bit now. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? All right. It's Wednesday right now. I'm off of work. I'm home. I'm getting ready to uh, go out. And I'm going down to at home and see if they have anything else really creepy that I can bring in and place in my home somewhere. Um, and after that, Jack in the Box has re-released re their Monster Tacos. Now, for those of you <laughs> who like Jack in the Box tacos, Monster Tacos are incredible, but this is the cool thing. Monster Tacos are 170 calories. Each one's 170 calories, okay? And three of them will fill you up pretty darn quick. So, for me to get three Monster Tacos, or I guess you have to get... Well, it's, it's two for three dollars, but whatever. For me to have three Monster Tacos and a side of fries and my diet soda is actually about a hundred, between 180 and 250 calories less than I normally have for my dinner thing. Granted, there's a lot of fat and grease and like that, and it's not something you want to make a career out of, but they're only around in, for October, and I love them. So... I can have that for my dinner and it would not be considered cheating because it's well within my range. Uh, tomorrow is my one cheat meal day and it's usually the same thing. I get a cheeseburger or I get a double cheeseburger over at uh, um, Burger King, you know, the combo. And that's my one cheat meal. But <laughs> after I have my cheat meal, I feel guilty about it. And I wind up uh, keeping my calorie content for everything else the rest of the day low. So it's a cheat meal. It's not a cheat day. 
in any case, I want to get something to add to my lovely home, <coughs> which at the moment needs uh, cleaning. And the reason it needs cleaning is because I had a lot of stuff come in, which I showed you, the opening boxes and so forth, and all the packaging is sitting in one corner. So i got to scoop that all up and take it out. But uh, I'm going down there and see what I can find. And when I come back, we'll see if I have anything to add. So we're going to make a change on this wall. <laughs> this picture, which is kind of a makeshift April, December, this is coming down. Okay? This picture is going to be moved here. This picture is going to be moved here. This uh, light is going to go to the other side and something new is going right here. Now, what is going right there? I'd tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. No, I'm, I'm not going to tell you because um, I'm going to show you while I'm putting it together. Now, yes, I have spent money that I shouldn't have spent. But, I'm an old man and I do what I bloody well please. And besides, um, what I'm doing, or what I spent is, you know, it's not like I spent thousands of dollars, I spent like 50 bucks. But, that's to get pieces for this. Now, um, once I start showing you what it is, you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna know. But, uh, I'm not gonna show you just this moment. Not just yet. Um, because, uh, well, I haven't put it together yet. Okay, here's the first part of the new project so far. Um, if you have any understanding of Haunted Mansion, you may already know what I'm up to. This time, it's printed on paper. Um, I did use the Super Bright, and I used the slightly heavier gauge. I also made her the right size, and theoretically, when I cut this, I shouldn't have to tape it from the front because it'll be so thin that the glass on the frame, the frames over there, will make it so you can't see the line, hopefully. Okay, I've got it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of sheets of paper and I'm just going to place them across here. So when I close this, it pushes it against the glass and will take that, uh, any lines that are in there that you can see, it should take them out. So obviously I'm going to use more than a piece of paper. I'll use several. Fortunately, I have a remover. And there we are. April, Decibio, also known as April, November. I mean April, December. April and some other month. Here she is, there's my computer screen for you right there. Um, and there's the band stuff. Uh, she looks good. Um, there's one spot where there's a little tiny crease but you really can't see it. And when I hang this up, if I put a little piece of cardboard behind there, that just leaning against the wall, I should remove that. That's part one of this project. Part two will be coming soon. Stand by. <laughs> All right, I have here a bunch of garbage I gotta take out. And I need to straighten that up. But what I have here is another box. Now, again, I know what this is, and it's not popcorn chickens. Popcorn chicken, yeah. Um, this is part of this that you saw me working on before. Part of that. I have not seen them yet, but uh, this is part of my dis of the display, or part of my what's going to be on my wall. I don't know if I should call it a display. It's a it's a home accent. So let's see if they're let's see if my blade was sharp enough to cut through all that. Apparently not. I need a new blade. I've got two new blades. They're in that drawer. Somewhere. Alright. The 
about the paper. Oh, and there, bubble wrap. And it's a wall sconce. And it's for the display. And it's, oh, it's not bent, it screws in. Oh, that's cool. I got to figure a way to mount them to the wall. But uh, there's two of them in here. And they should fit. Not gonna come out, are you? I kind of somewhat secured these in place. Let's see if I can get one to come out without taking the inside out with it. There we go. And they should fit. And they flop around, which is fine. They can flop around all they want. I can take care of that, but they do fit. So I have two of these, one for each side of the picture. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, wow! Um, when the Haunted Mansion was last updated this last year, they took the April Decibio, or as they refer to it, the April December picture, and gave it its own location. And I really like the way it looks. I like the display. I like the picture, whether it changes or not, and it does change, but I, I just like that corner. It has a real creepy vibe to it, and at the same time, it's got kind of a, uh, a gothic romantic vibe to it. So this is going to go up. There's two of them. On either side of... The portrait and I'm either going to get or I'm going to make a frame light. Now modern frame lights are mounted above the frame and they kind of shine down on your picture but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one old style which is very similar to what they have in the Haunted Mansion. It goes underneath and it illuminates from underneath. And instead of using a regular light, I'm going to use one of my flame lights, the big flame light, which has a real cool flicker effect to it. And, um, but I have to build that. Well, there she is. Looks pretty good. Um, considering what was used to make her, she definitely looks better because you can't see the creases in the cut of the image. But I think I still want to update that but uh, and it's still a little bright out what you are looking at here is one of the tiki torches from the Adventureland porch this is a flaming light thing well I recently and it's falling inside I recently decided I wanted to modify this with a battery operated light <clears throat> that was low voltage that would that I can leave out in all kinds of weather because this sits in a porcelain socket right here and so I have to turn on all the lights to get it to work so what I'm going to do is I've got to tie it off here and here I'm going to cut this pull this out and replace it with this which is basically the same animal only it's wider so it'll fit better and is battery operated. Whew. Sorry, it's a little humid in here today. So, uh, and it keeps falling inside because I took the little clip that holds it in place out. Okay, here it is. Um, need to tuck that down there. There we go. Now, when I took the other one out, it just shattered. <laughs> Plastic on it became so brittle from being out in the sun for so long. So, here's a new one. This is what it looks like. I actually like it better sitting lower in there. And uh, I'm going to put it outside. And I have another one to do. Alright, I have the box here. I haven't taken it out yet. I have opened it. And I got music playing through my Spotify. And, oh no, you're going to get demonetized for playing that. Well, I don't monetize anyway, so. But things do fall over on occasion. So. Let's see. Everything is cabled, cabled, wired, you know, twist tied in here. So 
So I think I had to pull this whole box out. There's a box in the box. Yeah. Okay, it's done. And I'm expecting I could probably tie my hair back. So. Well, here she is. Moaning and growing and pissing about the missing the wedding or whatever. And you might notice that like most other people in my life, she is a heck of a lot taller than I am. And she likes to show that off. Anyway, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things and I wanna set it up. So nice of you to come down to my size. Even down here you're taller than me. Here's an angle you don't see very often. I got just didn't want to unfold the legs on the tripod. Man, I bring you lazy up to a science sometimes. It's uh, about 3.10 or so, 3.15. It's Monday. It's my day off. It's beautiful outside. Um, I had to go to a meeting this morning. And uh, this afternoon, you know, I made myself a big old salad because... Yeah, um, you know, trying trying to keep my my health right. Dinner time will be something exciting. I can tell you that. But right now it's just too doggone nice. And there's some places that we can go to that are not far from here. And I'm thinking of going to one of them right about now. Well, we're here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. Now, it hasn't been that long since I've been here, but apparently long enough that I made one mistake coming in. See, this is the thing. McCormick Street and Stillman run parallel to each other. And the park, McCormick Stillman Railroad Park, isn't on either one of those streets. It's on Indian Bend. So I went down McCormick, and then I went, oh, that's right, it's an Indian Bend. Well, I'll just turn around and go back. Well, what I should have done is just turn around there in the residential area and gone back to where I came. But no, I had to follow my GPS to make sure I got to the right corner, and by golly, it sent me all through freaking town. But in any case, we're here now, so uh, uh, I'll go rec calm down, relax. This is my happy place, so... Uh, let's go uh, in there, shall we? Okay, say what you want about that train, but that is a big-ass skeleton on top of it. Carousel? Yep. Oh, what song is this? That's how you recycle a Christmas tree. For later on in the season. And there are some people here. Of course, it is a Monday. This little steam engine. Well, that bird on the top looks familiar.
is ending here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park, which is on neither McCormick nor Stillman. But only had about an hour and a half because it came late, but it was nice. I really enjoyed it. I love it here. This is my happy place. <clears throat> and I think this is also a good place to get rid of these bugs that keep flying in my face. To uh, end our 101st episode. Or episode one of the new season. We do 100 episodes in our season. And um, the screaming child in the background says that it's time to head back to the old homestead. So, that will be it for this episode. Um, I'm not quoting what's on the next episode uh, because we, since we're never sure, what's the point of doing that? I will tell you it will deal more with the Thanksgiving season and getting ready for Christmas and hating little tiny gnats. And uh, I saw you, I saw that. Get, no. So, uh, we'll see you on the next episode. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week or so. End of line.